Hey everyone, in this week's NXT tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to calibrate the sensors on your NXT robot. Now the first thing that you're going to need to do in order to calibrate your sensors is open up the NXT programming environment. Now calibrating sensors on an NXT is really easy because the NXT programming environment actually includes already made calibration programs in the environment that you just need to download. In order to access these, what you need to do is go up to Tools, Calibrate Sensors, and it's going to connect to your NXT and see what kind of sensors are available. Note that the only two sensors that are offered for calibration are the sound sensor and the light sensor, only the, the only two sensors that really need to be calibrated. And today, the only one I'm going over is the light sensor, because you can't use a sound sensor in FLL. If you see, it actually shows what your current calibration is right now and of course it's shown in raw values. The factory default is 0 as the minimum and 1023 as the maximum and those are the raw values and of course those are scaled down in the programming language to fit 0 as the minimum and 100 as the maximum. Now in order to calibrate your sensor all you really need to do is select your sensor in this case the light sensor and the port that you're going to need to calibrate in which is really not that important and you're going to click calibrate it's going to download the program and now that the program is downloaded I can show you how to calibrate it after I've hit the calibrate button you'll see that it's actually started the calibration program on the NXT automatically uh, you'll just have to excuse the mess my robots not exactly the neatest right now but I'm going to show you how you work this calibration program first on screen you're going to see it's going to say minimum value and then give you the current reading in of course raw value this is 1023 and for the minimum value what you're going to want to do is place the sensor directly over the black line or whatever the darkest thing that you're going to be measuring is and keep in mind that we're measuring in port 1 because that's the port we selected you want to be measuring on the correct sensor otherwise it won't work now as you move this the robot around the value that it's reading displayed right at the right there should change. The reason why it's not changing on mine is because I don't actually have functioning light sensors right now. I'm using color sensors in the place. But it works just as well to show you how the program works. After you've situated your sensor over the black line or whatever it is you wish to measure as your minimum, you're going to press the enter button, this orange button in the middle. After you've done that, now it's asking for the maximum value and it, just like before it displays the raw value that it's registering. What you can now do is move it over the white part of the line, make sure it's completely over that, or whatever the lightest object you're going to be measuring is. And once you've situated it over that, press enter again and it's stored the values as the minimum and maximum and it completes the program. Congratulations, your sensors are now calibrated. Here are two additional important notes on calibrating your sensors. The first is, even though we chose a sensor to calibrate in this menu here, we chose port 1, after you've calibrated the sensor using port 1, any light sensor that you plug into this NXT, no matter what the port, will use the same exact calibration. So you don't need to calibrate each sensor you have plugged into the NXT. You just choose one sensor, you calibrate that one, and the calibration settings become universal across the NXT. In other words, you just calibrate one sensor once. Now, the other thing is, you'll see I have the calibration values that I just measured before. 1023 is the minimum, 1023 is the maximum. Of course, you don't actually want those to be your calibration values, but like I said, I didn't have uh, functioning color sensors. And if you decide that you want to reset your calibration, what you can do is go over to this default here after highlighting the sensor. You click default and there we go we've reset the sensor to its factory calibration and now it's all on a clean slate and we can calibrate again if we would like to now when do I recommend you calibrate your sensors actually in fact you may never have to calibrate your sensors at all I recommend you test out the sensors at their default settings first and see how it works like that and as you go to different competitions you may or may not find that you need to calibrate your sensors that's why it's good to do a practice run on the practice mat if they provide one for you so you can see how your sensors behave in those lighting conditions 
Now, uh, I recommend if you're at a competition and you find you need to calibrate your sensors, you should only really have to do it once. Doing it before every round is a bit excessive, and some judges may not even allow you to do it. Um, so when you get to a competition and you find you need to recalibrate, just do it at the beginning of the day at the practice mat, and you should be good to go because hopefully your entire competition is held um, in the same building or at least in the same room where it's got um, somewhat uniform lighting. Thanks for watching my tutorial this week. If you found it helpful, be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this every week. And if you have an idea for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. Thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.